This is something very cool that happens uh, every year in North Texas. For the past 50 years, Six Flags Over Texas has been hosting a family night. It is a special event benefiting children's health. And this year, WFAA is a proud sponsor of this. And uh, we brought in some folks to talk more about this today. We have Brent Christopher. He is the president of Children's Medical Center Foundation. Also joining us this afternoon, Michelle Frazier. Her family will be the honorary guests for a family night at Six Flags. Uh, thank you both for being here. This is really a special thing that's done every year. And I want you to just start off by talking about how much this means for children's health. Sure, so the money that's raised on Family Night at Six Flags goes to support all the different things that happen at Children's Health all year long to make life better for children. You know, Family Night has been around now for 50 years. There aren't, there aren't many organizations in town that could say they have a fundraising event like that that has been around for half a century. This night is always a ton of fun. That's why it's been around that long. But it really supports the critical programs and services that are provided for kids all across children's health, for kids who are injured, for kids who are ill, um, to address the needs that they have and to make life better for them and for their families. Mm -hmm. Children's Health is the eighth largest pediatric health care provider in the country, and this is a really big way that the community puts gas in our gas tank to mm -hmm. enable those physicians and specialists to do the magic they do. I was going to say, you really do make some magic happen over there, and this is a part of the magic that makes that magic happen, and uh, you can be a part of it, too. Michelle, you've seen this magic uh, firsthand. Tell us a little bit about your family's story. I have. So our family um, was returning from serving the homeless on Thanksgiving Day, and we were actually right here. Mm -hmm. We got rear-ended, and um, thankfully all of us were okay, except for my daughter who suffered a life-threatening traumatic brain injury in that accident. And so I did not know this at the time, but um, children's is level one trauma. And, you know, as soon as I hopped in the ambulance with her, left the remainder of my family on the side of the road, they said, where do you want to go? I said, children's, mm -hmm. you know, no question. Mm -hmm. I was blessed in, you know, several years ago to do some fundraising for Children's Medical Center. Wow. Was hoping to always be on the giving and not the receiving end of that. But um, we spent several months, we spent a month, uh, a month and a half about in ICU. We spent another month um, on the 10th floor. We then transferred into inpatient rehab, which is part of Children's, our Children's House. So we have now experience children's in a very intimate way and um, so we just we couldn't be more proud and more pleased to be part of this event. And you never realize how important a, a place like this is until your kid actually needs that help. For sure. I mean, that, that day they s saved her life. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the ER on that particular day, on Thanksgiving Day, they saved her life. And mm -hmm. so, you know, from that point forward, it was just this incredible experience. I feel like children's really wrapped their arms around our entire family mm -hmm. and they were anticipating our needs before we knew what our needs were. You know, they, they knew that my son was going to need counseling they provided it. They knew that we we're going to need parking passes. You know, just the little things that you're you're, right. you're in this moment of just your child fighting for their life. And so Children's was just so incredible. And I guess you hear testimonials like this a lot. And this is what has made this successful for 50 years now, this, this partnership at Six Flags. It's a privilege for Children's Health to serve almost 300,000 children every mm -hmm. single year. And, you know, life can change in an instant mm -hmm. for any of us. We never know when that may be. Regardless, Children's Health is always there, available to meet the needs of kids and families across this region, um, whatever the circumstances are for them. And this fundraiser at Six Flags, not only is it a lot of fun for the people who will come out and participate tomorrow night, but they can know that they're providing invaluable resources. Mm -hmm. You know, this is produced by our Women's Auxiliary, mm -hmm. who are really generous fundraisers and passionate advocates and really faithful volunteers for us at Children's Health too. They've been around since 1962. Over all those years, they've raised almost $20 million for Children's Health, and over half of that money comes from the fundraising at Family Night at wow. Six Flags. So this is significant that Women's Auxiliary has really been working and making some miracles happen as well. Uh, so you have the information up in front of you here. Again, uh, the way that you can contribute is go out there and have some fun. When do you get to do that yeah, and actually contribute to a great cause? Uh, it's going to be going on tomorrow, April 6th. It goes from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. That's right. Uh, and uh, the tickets are $40 in advance. Not bad. Uh, you can get them at Tom Thumb uh, as well. Uh, and and get you can discount. buy 
buy them online, use mm -hmm. a promo code CHILDREN'S. Mm -hmm. Just be sure you, you get your tickets in advance because they'll be face value at the door, but, but you get a great discount in advance. And as you see there at the bottom, our chief meteorologist, Pete, De Pete Delkus, will be the MC out there. We're going to see if we can twist his arm into producing a wonderful forecast for us tomorrow <laughs> evening. Great call.